how to use Inkscape to sheet cam to Mach 3. Going to open up your Inkscape. And you're gonna select a file off the internet. I am going to go with a Chevy logo. My suggestion would be using a dark image, nothing light because you won't be able to see the lines. So I'm gonna type in Chevy logo, black and white. All right, so you can select either one. If you go with this, it's gonna be hard to show. I already tried it, but Inkscape does not like light colors. They like dark. Now, if someone has figured out a way, cool. This is just a quick tutorial for anyone who would like to use Inkscape to create a DXF easily, all right? I already saved it, click this one. Now I am going to click file, import, not open. Go to files, all files. Click the Chevy logo, click open. Those settings are okay, click okay. Now here you have your logo, all right? You gotta place it in the box. Don't worry about it being distorted. It's actually not. It's just you're fitting it in the box. All right. You're gonna go in path, trace bitmap. You have your brightness cut off, your edge detection, color quantization, auto trace, center lining tracing. I'm just gonna keep it on brightness cut off. Click update, click OK, X this out, go back to your image. Now uh, this is the one you want to save, the one you click off of. The one that you just worked on, the image that you converted or traced bitmap, you delete it. Place this back in here, and now you have to size it, right? You're gonna change this to inches. This you're gonna make it. I'm gonna do seven and then I'm gonna do three. So it'll be seven inches by seven inches wide, three inches high. Click okay. You're gonna go back and file, save as, you're gonna name it, I'm gonna name it Chevy logo. Save it for here as a DXF. Put it in my desktop, save. These settings are okay. Click okay. Now I'm gonna go in sheet cam. All right, I'm now going to go in file, import drawing, Chevy logo. My settings are okay, my machine. There you have it. All right, you make your cut paths. So look in here, the lines look good. Same with this. Mm, if you look closely, it looks a little off, but maybe that's just how the drawing is. But from afar, it doesn't look messed up. But I am going to get the inside. And this is just an example. I can make it bigger later on if I want. So I am going to go to edit contours, click the inside line, move to layer, and now I'm gonna, I can name it whatever, but I always name it inside. Click okay. Now I'm gonna go down here, create a new jet cutting operation. Now I'm gonna click inside offset, which is gonna cut the inside of the line and inside, right? So I can actually cut outside of the line, which I am going to do, All right? So I have it on so I don't have an eighth inch setup, but 10 gauge is close enough. And now I'm gonna see what my cut path looks like. So there you have it. It's cutting on the outside, which exactly is what I like and want. Not cutting in the inside.
Now I can cut this if I want. Remember the logo was a black and white image. So if I wanted this, I'd cut it. But for training purposes, I am just gonna go, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go with this too. Let's make this outside. Go back to your cut path. So the layer is the outside layer. Now I am going to cut, I'm also gonna cut in the outside of it too and everything else is fine. So there we go. If everything looks good to you, you are going to go to file, run post processor. That's what sends your G code, which is a tap file for the Mach 3, All right? Save it. Open up your Mach 3. Load your G code. I named it Chevy logo. There you have it. Now I'm going to set the zero from Mach 3. That way it's sending the signal from the machine and you have your part placed on there. So I set my zero in this corner. That way less material is being used. The top corner was just for an example, all right? So now I'm going to take off the dry run. I'm going to press start and should be good to go.